you know, most golfers concentrate mostly on their full swing, but the short game is where you can really save yourself a lot of shots. And, and I'm going to talk about chip shots, just a little simple basic chip shot, because that's really where, you know, the short game starts. Once you master the technique on the chipping, you can apply a lot of those same principles to the pitching and, and all the other shots that you're going to play around the, around the greens. But the basic chipping technique is where I think, you know, every golfer really needs to start. Now, when you're chipping, you've got just one simple goal. You want to, to try to hit a shot that gives you minimum amount of air time, max amount of ground time. So you're trying to hit a low shot. The problem that most amateurs have is they don't trust the loft that they have on the club and they try to scoop the golf ball up in the air. So they all tend to hit with this scooping motion or they fall back on their right side and they try to lift the golf ball up in the air like this. The swing band can really help you to learn the proper technique. So when I put it on, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kinda of slide it up my forearm a little bit and I'm gonna twist it around one time. I'm gonna attach it to the top of the club like this. And then to make it just a little tighter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it another wrap around there. Now what I do is I choke down the club a little bit. And when you're chipping, I'm gonna use what's called a reverse overlap grip. So it's a grip that's similar to what you would use with, with putting. So I take the, the forefinger of my left hand and overlap it with the little finger of my, my right hand. I'm down on the club just a little bit. And, and all I'm trying to feel here is a consistent motion where there's there's really no wrist break in my stroke. I'm just going back and through, firm with the wrist, and the idea is is that I'm just going to let the ball get in the way, get in the way of that motion. Okay? Now it's easier said than done for most people. They're trying to trying to lift the ball up in the air, but if you can learn to just keep your wrist firm and kind of lead with your left hand. See how the back of my left hand is flat? Well, the swing band's helping me do that because I, if I go like this, it's creating tension and it's pulling back on the band. So what I want to do is just feel the handle moving forward. And I also feel just a little bit of pivot as I go through too. So you can see that this is just one motion, kind of the triangle that's formed by my arms and the club are staying together as I come through. Now, as far as the other fundamentals on chipping, the ball should be back in your stance towards your right foot. Your weight should be towards your left foot. My stance is slightly open, and the reason that my stance is slightly open is, is that I want it angled off to the left just a little bit so that my hips are kind of out of the way. So when I swing through, my arm's not going to run into my left leg here. Okay? So I set up just slightly open, doesn't have to be a lot, weight on my left side, hands forward. This helps me to create a bit of a downward hit. And I'm using this swing band to learn how to take my wrists out of the stroke and just catch it just a little bit on the downswing. Just a little bit. Now it doesn't take much of a downward hit, but you want just a little downward hit to play a basic chip shot. Now one thing that you want to remember when you're chipping is focus in on the spot that you want to land the ball. So on, in, on this particular shot, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and land the ball just a short distance on the green here. I'm not trying to fly the ball all the way to the hole. I'm just trying to land it a short distance on the green. So when I'm standing up over this shot, I'm really focusing in on where I want the ball to land. I'm not focusing on where I want the ball to end up. The problem that a lot of amateurs have is they're looking at the pin where they want the ball to end up, but the pros are looking at where they want the ball to land. So firm with the wrist, land the ball in the right spot, and if you land the ball in the right spot, it'll roll out right to the hole, and you'll set yourself up for a lot of one putts.